Welcome back to Bite Forever. In today's video, we're going to do some word processing on possibly the world's most advanced word processor. So you can forget Word 2020, or whether it's cold, or whatever the latest version is. So in 1981, this system had it all. <laughs> Let's go through the setup. So this is our printer, ZX printer got obviously the ZX81 which is you know the most advanced computer in the world at the moment if I got in a time machine and took all this other stuff with me back to 1981 <laughs> and even then I think I don't think we can call it the most advanced machine in the world actually I'm just reconsidering that <laughs> let's just call this a computer for now <laughs> got the memo tech 16k RAM pack so this one is probably arguably the better of the RAM packs you get the Sinclair RAM pack tends to suffer from a little bit of wobble um, if I just move to the back it looks like it's not quite in straight but it's in as far as it'll go <laughs> um, and so you daisy chain there's a connector an edge connector on the back of the ram pack which is itself connected to the edge connector on the zx81 and that really short cable layer goes to the printer it's, for those who are interested uh, this works but it's a thermal printer so yeah this is the zx printer uh, that I guess there's loads of information about this on the internet but it's thermal printer so you've got this roll of aluminiumized paper and there's two styluses on a little drive belt uh, they go whizzing round I think pretty much they just whiz round all the time when you're printing anything and uh, there's another metal strip in there as well and like a little spark between the stylus and the paper and the strip causes uh, it to slightly burn the paper and that's where your dots and characters ultimately come from anyway so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to load TASWORD if I can actually spell load or So we're going to load TASWORD and that involves double clicking on the WAV file which I've earlier converted. I'll pause the video while this loads, it should take about two minutes but you'll come back in a lot quicker time than that thankfully. So after about two minutes this is successfully loaded and like I always think this is really a miracle uh, I mean, even in 1981 when all this was new uh, you wouldn't have had a PC obviously which was feeding the perfect WAV file then into the computer but other than that you know you had a tape deck which was also a bit dodgy you had a tape which was dodgy you could have any number of things which still was working and to be fair you know you could have had a power cut as well in 1981 in the UK so anyway I'm rambling on a bit but what I'm going to try and do is demonstrate some of the features of this by writing the script to this video kind of after I've done it doesn't really make sense but um, let's have a crack at it anyway <laughs> now one of the things about this is the keyboard is quite bad um, it doesn't have autocorrect so I've just noticed oh, come on that's it just get rid of that oh. I got rid of the wrong character there and of course 
yeah it automatically overwrites text as an insert of text i think there is a command for that so if i press the online help we've got online help here which is brilliant you know microsoft word you have to press f1 but now it's just shift and the g key and might as well run through some of these um you know you got you can print which is useful <laughs> uh, i'll have to remember not to accidentally press um the shift key and s which is what will cause l print to happen and i'm just looking for uh, you see you can insert a line or a character i think that's a bit risky i think what i'll probably do is just waste a bit more time and just overwrite it because you know you never know what's going to happen if uh, <laughs> if you start using any of the commands without knowing what they really do or practice them beforehand uh, i might get a bit crazier later on but there you go you can hear the creaking of the keyboard <laughs> just uh you know flexing a bit of plastic underneath obviously it's not real keys you know not like a pc so just tapping on the keyboard there um now what you can do and i can remember this command and it's shift t and that center justifies the text and i think you can also so what i want to try and do is put a line under that as well so I'll just look up the i think it's graphics so if you do so what we want to do is use shift nine that puts into graphics mode now any of the graphics characters on the keys now we can well, i would show you that but i'll disturb the camera i don't really want to do that but on the keyboard you've got so is it you've got all the number keys up to eight and the basically the q the qwerty part of the keyboard and the asdf gh have uh, little characters on them the thing we'll do is so you can do different things like i think we just do s whoops no so that's inverse video we have to press, press shift i think there we go there you go you underlined it look at that this is awesome i <laughs> i don't forget you know I've been looking for a decent word processing program for ages and it's taken since 1981 to find this and I'm pretty fortunate uh, I found it so here's the text of hopefully I'm gonna type in the script so I've been typing for about five minutes uh, <laughs> and I've written the first part of the script it's i'm not going to lie to you the keyboard is a little frustrating to use i'll just show you that again Oops. if you're not seeing some of the other videos that i've done um it, yeah because because it's basically just a membrane underneath there, there's no absolutely no feel whatsoever to the keys whoops i have to put this back and go to the right place and as I was saying, yeah, there's no filter keys, so it can be a little bit frustrating if you actually just look at the keys rather than the screen. You can't just look at the screen because if you do that, then yeah, you'll you sort of lose your place and where your hand is on the keyboard. Just because there isn't actually any difference between a key and not a key. But anyway, I used to type this out and what we're going to try now is really crazy we're going to actually try printing on it so i'm a little bit nervous about this but here we go so to print uh, we can have a look at the online help again we have to uh where is it again yeah there you go i'll print print the file so you press shift and the s key which is l print uh, that's sort of a, 
L print is a standard way of printing to the printer uh, if you are just in basic and it's no different here oh in fact I might just go a little bit of graphics under there and yeah why not eh? let's, let's put a checker checker pattern under this and then that's, that's a bit rubbish let's not bother doing that <laughs> so go back into normal mode no that's not normal mode come on can't get back into normal character mode now oh accidentally right what to do I, I press shift a and oh, I don't want to do any of that let's go back no the wrong control cleared so I don't want to press C save without text file save with text file where do you get away no oh no I've lost it I've lost everything <laughs> I've actually just broke out the program oh let's try it let's try running it again no <laughs> so yeah um that didn't go too well <laughs> i was going to try and print that whole screen which might have been something uh well what i'll do anyway i'll just <laughs> i'm just going to type the title back in Okay, um, where well, it all went wrong last time is when I went into graphics mode, <laughs> but you know, let's try it again anyway. And just underline that, get out of graphics mode. So the mistake I made was I didn't go properly back into normal text mode and then did shift a brought up like a command screen which i, I don't even know that wasn't even on the help <laughs> so let's try and actually i wonder if you can center justify from anywhere in that oh you can cool let's just for the sake of completeness now I'm not going to type all that back in but what I'm going to do is say hello and welcome back to but it's forever Seems that's the channel name. And I'm not going back into help again. I know it's shift and shift and S to print. So I'm gonna move the camera now and it's a print so we can try and see this print in live. You know this is the most exciting thing you've ever seen on the internet. Here we go. So press shift L sorry shift S but nothing's happened oh hang on no it is it's doing it the, the screen went blank uh, and it's printed it that's amazing I mean try and actually get that out of the printer fully because oh, I don't know why I think it's just unraveling it um, <laughs> let's see if we can I don't know if you can just oh no I've said paper waste 
that's the line feed I don't know if you can see this clearly now. So for past experience, if you just press uh, the line feed down, it says you don't get the best results because it sort of motor strains a bit. You know, I'll give it a chance. It's it's probably 35 years old at least, if not more. But there you go. Look. Yeah, actually he printed it and you know it's, I'm astounded to be fair I mean I did I did lose the whole document at one point and uh, yeah ironically when it was going to serve it but there you go so I'll wrap up this video now uh, that is word processing on a ZX81 using TASWORD uh, thanks for watching. Please press the like button if you've got through to this point in the video. And yeah, bye for now.